Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to effectively use split ring pliers when swapping out your treble hooks or split rings themselves, or you may be uh, putting inline hooks on all your baits. These pliers can definitely be a lifesaver when you're switching out those treble hooks or split rings. Now you will notice these pliers have a little notch on one side, and that is what enables you to open up the split rings and I'm going to show you here in a second. Also you'll notice these pliers are pretty small and compact. You don't want to go with a bulky pair of split ring pliers because you're working with pretty small split rings and hooks. So if you use a big pair of bulky pliers it's going to make it really difficult or even impossible to swap out those um, split rings or treble hooks just because the mouth is going to be too big. You're not going to be able to get inside of the split ring like so because ideally you want that split ring to be able to go right onto the plier like that. If you can't get one of the jaws into the split ring you're going to have a really tough time swapping them out. So let me go ahead and show you how I like to swap out hooks on these baits using these split ring pliers. So what you want to do is make sure you find the end of the split ring where it kind of turns and then it stops and that's where you want to put the split ring pliers. Again, you want to put the flat part of the jaw actually into the split ring through it. And then you're going to take that top piece that's notched and just push down right in between there. And you'll notice that hook has gotten stuck right in between. It's opened it up. That hook is in there ready to come off. And I like to take the split ring pliers out then. And then what you can do is grab the split ring with the pliers and then start to turn the hook. Now right here, before I actually take the hook off, what I like to do, since that opening is already started uh, right there, you can see it's still opened up. I like to take the other hook that I'm going to replace it with and go ahead and start it on there as well since it's already opened up. So that way you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. You can get one hook off as you put one on. So I'll go ahead and slide that hook onto the split ring. And as you can see, they are both on there right now. And you, if you're doing treble hooks or inline hooks, you can kind of squeeze them together, keep them together, and then take your split ring pliers, grab the split ring, like so, and then just start spinning that split ring and putting those hooks on. One hook is going to come off as the other one goes on, as you see there. So just a nice, quick, simple, easy way to change out your hooks or even your split rings. So now one more time just to give you kind of a quick up close view of how this opens up the split ring. As you can see the end of the split ring right there where you would begin to put the hook on. That's where you want to put the pliers close to it, but enough of a gap that you can get the hook started. As you can see here, got the hook started, it's in the gap, and then I'll just take my split ring pliers off and it's already started and it's going through that gap. Then from there, you can use your hands, but I just like to use the pliers to hold on to the split ring and turn the split ring as I push the hook in the opposite direction. And that will get that hook off of the split ring like that. So it's as simple as that. So that will wrap up this video on how to effectively use split ring pliers to swap out treble hooks, change your split rings, change your treble hooks to inline hooks, whatever you may be doing that requires opening up these tiny little split rings because these things definitely are a lifesaver when it comes to that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.